Okay, let's talk about the Alex Math Placement Exam. And if you're watching this video, I assume that you are studying for this particular exam, which means that you are um, going to college or maybe you're already in college and you have to take the Alex uh, to determine your what uh, level of math course you're going to be placing into. So you could just say right off the bat, it's in your best interest to study the best you can for this because um, if you have to go into a course that's really not, you know, um, for your particular requirement or it's a prerequisite and you're like, boy, I shouldn't really have to take that math class. I already know that stuff, but you didn't do well on the, uh, on the Alex exam and they put you in a lower math course. Well, then you're going to be spending a lot of time and money on a particular course that, that you know, you really didn't need to take. So you really want to do as well as you can on this. So there's quite a bit of math that's covered on the Alex um, uh, placement assessment. So it's not a true or sorry, it's not a pass fail type of test. It's really, hey, they're going to test you. And it really it's based upon how many math skills uh, do you have. Now, a little bit about myself. I'm a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching for many, many years. And um, I actually have an Alex math test prep course. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video if that's something you think you might want to check out. But with that being said, I have a little pop quiz here for you, a little practice problem that you should be able to do if you're really ready for the Alex. So let me show you what I got here. So I got this number and I got this number. I'd like you to multiply them together, but I don't want you just to use your calculator. What I want you to do is to do this using scientific notation. And then I want you to write your um, answer in scientific notation. So if you think you could do this, you might want to pause the video and give it a whirl. Of course, I'm going to go, um, go through it. But I just want to give you a chance to pause the video before you see how I do it. Okay, but by the way, too, if you do get this right, in no means does that mean like you're, you know, you're all ready for the Alex. It's just a pop quiz. But if you don't know how to do this, that's definitely a red flag that you, you, you got some work to do. Because something like this can definitely be on um, the Alex. Okay, so let's go through it. So I don't want to turn this uh, video into a, a full lesson on scientific notation because that's just too much. But I will try to explain, you know, as we go. It's just, just in the interest of time. I don't want to make this video too long. So the whole idea here, when we're we're multiplying two numbers and we want to do it <clears throat> using scientific notation, is we need to know where the um, decimal point is in a number. So let's take a simple number, like let's say 1,200. Well, 1,200, you're like, well, where's the decimal point? Well, it's really 1,200.0 or 1,200.00, but typically we'll just drop that decimal, right? So well, it's just 1,200.0. Now, what we want to do in scientific notation is to move the decimal point such that we take the digits here, and this is the, the number, which is 1200, zero, zero, and we want to form a new number between 1 and uh, 10. Okay, it actually has to be less than 10. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move this decimal point this way 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now I have a number 1.2. All right, so you can see that that falls in between 1 and 10. It's got to be less than 10 and uh, at least 1. Now, 1.2, but what? Well, how many places did I move the decimal point over? It was 1, 2, 3 to the left. So that means that I'm going to have 1.2 times 10 to the third power. That represents that little 3 is how many uh, uh, places that I had to move the decimal point to the left to get this number. Okay, so real quick type of review on scientific notation. There's more. So with scientific notation as well, you need to understand the the rules of powers and exponents. But this just a little refresher here. This number is a number in scientific notation and it represents the number 1200. So if you're like, oh, okay, I kind of remember that stuff. Well, that's what scientific notation is. So now let's get back to our problem. So you can see here that I'm like, all right, I can write this number, the digits 53700, all this uh, right here as 5. 0.37. I don't need the rest of the zeros. I just use these these digits here that are not zero times 10 to the what? Well, the decimal point would be right here, right? Like 0 0.0. So I had to move that over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So that's 10 to the 7. So this number here in scientific notation is 5.37 times 10 10 to the seventh, and we're going to multiply it by this number, which will be what? 1.24 
times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? All right, so if you got this far, then that's, that's excellent. So now what I have is just one big product. I'm taking this number and I'm multiplying by this number, multiplying all that by this and this. So there's really four things here. All right. So now I couldn't use my calculator real quick. I'm going to multiply the decimals. In other words, I'm going to, I'm going to make my life easier. I'm going to say 5.37 times 1.24. Remember when this is just all multiplication, this is the same thing as if I'm multiplying 2 times 3 times 7 times 9. Order doesn't make a difference in multiplication, so I'm just switching the order down uh, around here. So I'm going to have my decimals together, then I'm going to have 10 to the 7th times 10 to the 7th. Okay, so now let's go ahead and address this. Now if you want to cheat a little bit, like I'm going to do real quick, I'll just get my calculator out here to do this um, calculation with my calculator. 3.7 uh, 3 times 1.24. Okay, so this is 6.658. 6.658 times, now I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and multiply these two guys together, okay? Now, the reason why this is important, because if I multiply two decimals and it was a number bigger than 10, I would need to go through and rewrite that particular number in scientific notation. So this is less than uh, 10, so 6.658 times 10 to the 7th times 10 to the 7th. So what is this? Hopefully you wrote that that's 10 to the 14th power. Okay, 10 to the 14th power. When the bases are the same, we simply just add the exponents and this would be your final answer. Now, if you got this problem right, then that's pretty good. Okay, and this is just some basic scientific type of notation. So you might be like, well, you know, there's a lot of algebra and geometry and stuff on Alex, and there, and there is, but scientific notation uses the principles of powers and exponents and numbers and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really important um, in algebra, and you'll see it in other classes as well, science classes, etc. Um, obviously, the word scientific notation is derived from the idea that in science we use very, very large numbers, right? Let's say you're talking about the distance to a particular star or how many atoms there are, you know, whatever the case is, you're using quantum numbers, massive numbers. Either they're very, very big or very, very small. So just we can't just write these numbers out. It would be too difficult just to like write these by hand. So the notation, scientific quote unquote notation, is the way we write kind of a better way to write these large numbers using scientific notation. You got to know how to use them, which requires your ability to work with uh, powers and exponents. Okay, so let's go and wrap this video up. Again, something you definitely want to know for the Alex. Um, uh, I just want to remind you again, if you uh, kind of like my teaching style, you think that you might want to check out my Alex Math Test uh, prep course, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. I also have hundreds and hundreds of uh, videos on my YouTube channel that will definitely help you out for the Alex as well. So hopefully you'll uh, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and uh, leave me some feedback. Are you um, taking the Alex? With, were you told that you have to take the Alex? Were you offered another placement exam, maybe like the AccuPlacer? Um, you know, are you, uh, you don't have to take the Alex, maybe? It's kind of an optional type thing. So any kind of feedback would be good. But with that being said, I hope this video helped you out. Um, I wish you all the best in your college endeavors uh, and, and definitely in mathematics. Thank you for your time and have a great day.